Basically, I grew up a farmer's daughter from Ballymoney, um, went to the local school, uh, did further education in Edinburgh and then Bristol, and then came home with lots of qualifications but didn't really know what I wanted to do. Gave my name to an agency and got this great job in the airport uh, being the assistant to the director of operations and I was probably his worst secretary ever and we applied for a job uh, because at that time I was very sporty, played a lot of sport and he saw a job uh, in a golf club in Portadown as secretary manager and we applied and hey presto I got the job aged 22. I took up golf, played golf, uh, learned all about golf and really got into the way of working within golf and moved to a further club called Mazarine in Antrim and was there for about three and a half years and then there was a a uh, position came here at Royal Port Rush back in 1984 and my mother encouraged me to apply and I came here not knowing what was ahead of me and here I am some 34 years still at Royal Port Rush. Because I was in my mid-twenties I probably didn't understand the heritage and the history within the Gulf here at Royal Port Rush but over the years it's become very much a way of life. Um, it's a huge history, especially with the ladies and the gents. They've held a lot of very prestigious competitions over the years, including obviously the Open Championship in 1951, and it's you know some 60 odd years and it's returning in 2019. Well, when I came here, obviously Fred Daly was about the club quite a bit, um, and you know the pro at that time, uh, just before that, was P.G. Stevenson. They were great buddies and they were quite famous in their own right. And then obviously through the years we've seen the likes of the Darren Clarks, the Padraig Harringtons, the Rorys, the Graham McDowells um, and Stephanie Meadow, Maureen Medill. So we've had quite a lot of very you know, good golfers have come through the club and uh, it's been very exciting to see them grow. Well it really started back, I mean we, we didn't have tourists here way back in the 80s stroke 90s and in 1993 the RNA had very much uh, confidence in Royal Portrush hosting the Amateur Championship. Again, it hadn't been here for 1960, so, um, so that, that was quite a big event. Then we bid for the Senior British Open, and we had that between 95 and 99, and again in 2004. Then, you know, that helped bring the visitors and encouraged tour operators to come to Royal Port Rush. So in 2006, we set up a small subcommittee, and it was quite interesting in the last paragraph, the ideal you know, scenario were to see the open return to Royal Port Rush, and I think we all sort of said, oh, this is all a bit you know, far-fetched, but we'll put it in anyway. And we went out and formed relationships with stakeholders such as European Tour, IMG, the RNA, and various other, and obviously amateur events uh, through the RNA and the Golfing Union of Ireland. In order to proceed, we needed to be able to have a big event, and we went forward with the Irish Open, and uh, the minister at the time was Arlene Foster, who was very encouraging and very positive behind the whole event and was able to support us in our bid to get the European Tour to come to Northern Ireland. And that turned out to be probably the most successful Irish Open in the history. That proved to the RNA we could deal with big events, so a lot of work had to go on then again with regard to the course and the infrastructure. Here we are now, we're about to host the 2019 Open. We've got a fantastic 18 holes. Um, we're getting good compliments. There's been a lot of work been put in and uh, we're almost there. Well, I, ha I have to thank the IG2A for uh, offering me this award. Uh, delighted to accept. Um, it's really, I feel it's not just for myself, it's for my team at Portrush. I have a great team around me and I think that's what makes it very important and um, you know it's nice to be recognised. I knew Derry Donworth a long time ago. I can remember him coming to uh, Royal Port Rush one horrible January day and introduced himself as a tour operator. At that stage we didn't have visitors, uh, we certainly didn't have Americans and what was this tour operator about? And Jerry had this great foresight and you know, instead of going just to the southwest of Ireland, he was going to include Northern Ireland in his itineraries. So Jerry Donworth and I have gone back a long time, and uh, you know, it's a privilege to win his award. Here at the PGA Tour, we're excited for the recognition Wilma Erskine's going to be receiving this evening. Uh, I first met Wilma some years ago at Port Rush. We had the opportunity to play then for the first time. 
and I was struck immediately by her energy and enthusiasm and great wit. We're particularly excited that she successfully navigated the waters to bring the Open Championship to Port Rush uh, next year. So for those of us who have fallen in love with Port Rush over the years and absolutely love to play in it, to see the best players in the world play there in the Open Championship is very special indeed. All of us at the PGA Tour extend our appreciation and congratulations to Wilma, one of the unique people in the world, a special friend of golf, a great person, and I'm delighted that I can call her my friend. I'm delighted that you decided to honor Wilma Erskine tonight in this fashion. I've worked with Wilma uh, for many years, uh, promoting golf tourism together, uh, and I think it's absolutely a very appropriate thing to do, and if I may say so, long overdue. I do recall very clearly back to 2011 when Darren Clark won that historic Open. Uh, we started to talk about uh, the Irish Open coming back to Royal Portrush and so it happened. We announced it, I well remember that press conference uh, with Wilma and with Darren uh, and we'd only six months to pull it all together uh, but it was an outstanding success due in no small part uh, to Wilma's involvement. And now of course we have the Open to look forward to uh, next year in 2019 and I know that she will do everything in her power to make it the outstanding success that we all expect it to be. So Wilma, congratulations tonight and very well deserved. Hello, I'm James Nasbitt or as Wilma likes to call me, Oi You. Uh, I'm delighted to be uh, given the opportunity to congratulate you Wilma on the Jerry Donworth Award for Outstanding Contribution to Golf. It'll come as no surprise to anyone from Port Rush Golf Club, from Port Rush from the North Coast, um, as we all know uh, how much you have done to promote uh, golf in Northern Ireland and the area. Um, fiercely protective of the club, loyal to its members, you are nevertheless someone who makes every visitor that comes to Port Rush, of whom there are now thousands, thanks mainly to you, you make them feel special and you make them feel when they leave Port Rush that they're taking a bit of Port Rush with them. Uh, Wilma uh, has given a great part of her life to Royal Port Rush Golf Club and to promoting golf in the north of Ireland and particularly the whole north coast. Um, and I've even seen her uh, go as far as drink two balls of red wine to get her point across one night in Augusta. Congratulations Wilma, you deserve it. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Hello Wilma and greetings from a gloriously sunny Argentina. I hope you're having a wonderful evening at the Ictoa Gala dinner. And I'm only sorry that I can't be with you in person. Many congratulations, though, on being the recipient of the Jerry Dunworth Award, and I know that no one could deserve it more. You deserve the award, this award in so many ways. Over 33 years hard work at Royal Port Rush, and your contribution to making it the wonderful club that it is. Your contribution to the tourism industry, and the way that you've welcomed given visitors to Port Rush an experience they'll never forget, all in your truly unique style. You can count so many of the great names of golf among your friends, and without exception, I know they hold you in the highest respect and esteem. Speaking personally, I really enjoyed the work we did on bringing the Open Championship back to Royal Port Rush in 2019. There were plenty of doubters, no shortage of obstacles, but we overcame them all. And I know that the 2019 Open will be a great success, and that will be down so much to you, your experience, your hard work, and your determination. During the process, we added a new word to our vocabulary at the RNA, which is being Wilmot. And that means being told to sit up, pay attention, and do what you're told. I was Wilmot on several occasions, and I know I deserved it. Many congratulations again, and have a wonderful evening, and here's to you. Wilma has been great as well. Wilma has been instrumental in everything, you know, in, in bringing the Open back to Port Rush to the recognition it, it gets for, for producing some of the best golfers in the world. Um, Wilma has been, you know, if, if it wasn't for Wilma, I'd, I'm not sure Royal Port Rush would have the aura or the stature that it has. She's worked very hard to, to do a lot of great things here and um, you know a lot of the credit has to go to her for, for, for all of this. Hi Wilma, 
um, Darren here, as you know. Just want to say many, many congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Awards. I can't think of anybody more deserving than yourself. You are Royal Portrush. And I think that will all culminate next year whenever we have the Open Championship there, something that you've worked so hard for to bring the biggest tournament in the world to Royal Portrush. But congratulations on your achievement. You deserve it and have a great evening. Cheers. So Wilma, wicked stepmother, mum, congratulations. I couldn't be more proud of you tonight. Um, you've been an inspiration in my life and helped me get where I am today. Congratulations. I've now hit the magic age of 60, so I feel there's something else in me, um, but I feel it's time, you know, that someone new comes in with new ideas, and I'm probably getting a bit cranky, so I think it's possibly time to take my golf clubs out to play again and uh, let someone new with new ideas come in, and I'm sure they will be a great success.